And don't come back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. Nah, that's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. I'm getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. Uh, make that after lunch. Whoa! We seem to have a mouse convention in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <coughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. Please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, I'd like my grapes peeled. Peeled? <laughs> peeled. And uh, take out the seeds? The uh, seeds? Oh. <sighs> this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say about 20, 30 years of it. <laughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. I'm scared. Garfield, <gasps> we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house is full of mice, he'll expect me to... Oh, got it! Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you are watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. No, you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here. Knowing it's free from mice. Because as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. <sighs> First, something to eat. <laughs> it was rough under there. I'm shaking. Oh. <laughs> Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace and then. Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand, that is a mouse. Eh? <sighs> what, this? Oh, <laughs> make like you're a toy. <laughs> oh, no. This is a happy, fun, kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Oh, 
It's just a kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something to eat. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> We should hide. Oh. <gasps> oh. Garfield, did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I have mice in my cupboard. <laughs> I have mice in my silverware drawer. I even have mice in my sink. Ah, uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Garfield! Hey, mice. mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trained specialists will rush to your home where they will stop at nothing. <laughs> the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of Rat Tater Pest. <laughs> They can run. They can hide like the rodents they are. But they can never get away. <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. <laughs> you are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. And I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. For years? The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, yoo-hoo! Calling all mice, calling all mice. Squeak! Hey, now that once his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves. No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you, right this minute, if not sooner. No way. This is our new home. Boo. <laughs> you think we're going to run from that? Other cats scare mice. Other cats eat mice. You going to start eating mice, Garfield? <laughs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What am I going to do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible rat tater pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible rat tater pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Rat tater pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would, and will, unless... Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're going to have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back. Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! You handled that so well. 
Naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Hey, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. Garfield, lasagna's here. Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya. <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna! Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are! Luigi, you have to do something! You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice! Never mind the mice! I need an exterminator to get rid of him! <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it here. Don't come back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. Nah, that's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. I'm getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. Uh, make that after lunch. Whoa! We seem to have a mouse convention in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <coughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. <laughs> Please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, I'd like my grapes peeled. 
peeled? <laughs> peeled. And uh, take out the seeds? Uh, seeds? Oh. Ah, this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say about 20, 30 years of it. <laughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. Nemsky. Garfield, oh. we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house is full of mice, he'll expect me to... Oh, got it. Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. <laughs> hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. <laughs> huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you're watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. No, you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here. Knowing it's free from mice. Because as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. <sighs> First, something to eat. It was rough under there. I was just going to... Oh. Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace and then... Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand, that is a mouse. Eh? <sighs> Wait, this? Oh, <laughs> make like you're a toy. <laughs> oh, no. This is a happy, fun kitty toy thingy, Mugbob. Oh, it's just a kitty toy thingy, Mugbob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something to eat. Uh-oh. Garfield said we should hide. Oh. <gasps> Garfield! Did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? I have mice in my cupboard! I have mice in my silverware drawer! I even have mice in my sink! Uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Garfield! <laughs> mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trained specialists will rush to your home where they will stop at nothing. <laughs> the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of rat tater pets. <laughs> they can run, they can hide like the rodents they are, but they can never get away. <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. You are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. 
and I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. For years? The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> Guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, yoo-hoo! Calling all mice, calling all mice. Squeak! Hey, now that once his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves. No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you, right this minute, if not sooner. No way, this is our new home. <laughs> <laughs> you think we're gonna run from that? Other cats scare mice. Other cats eat mice. You gonna start eating mice, Garfield? <sighs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What are we gonna do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible rat-tater pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible rat-tater pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Rattator Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would and will, unless. Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're gonna have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back! Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! You handled that so well. Naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Hey, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. Garfield! Lasagna's here! Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya! <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna! Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are! Luigi, you have to do something! You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice! Never mind the mice! I need an exterminator to get rid of him! <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it here. Garfield! It's lasagna! Wow! 
Wow, lasagna. I haven't had any of that since, uh, well, about four o'clock. Come on, Pookie, supper time. Don't worry. If you don't want yours, I'll eat it. <laughs> One piping hot lasagna. <laughs> I got it! I got it! You got it! Boy, I thought you couldn't look any cuter. But add marinara sauce, melted cheese to anything, and it looks better. Sorry, Garfield. I got your toy dirty. <gasps> Pookie is not a toy. Pookie is a best friend who just happens to be made of mostly cloth. Here, you got him messy? You clean it. Be better and be as fluffy and adorable as always. He'll be done any minute now. He's done. Here he is. What have you done to him? He looks like a porcupine watching a horror movie. Relax, Garfield. He just needs to be dried overnight. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, he'll be his old self again. Tomorrow morning? You're a big cat, Garfield. You can sleep without Pookie for one night. Nah. He's right. I can do without Pookie for one night. Boy, I hope he's okay out there. Pookie? Pookie! Oh, that's right. He's out of the back. On the clothesline, I'm sure he's all right. What am I worried about? He's fine. <laughs> Come on, Oatster. Let's bring Pookie in so he can have breakfast with us. He's gone! Pookie's gone! Pookie, where are you? Pookie, where are you? Don't worry, Pookie. I'll find you. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not down there. I'm sorry Pookie disappeared, Garfield. Well, you ought to be. When I saw he was missing, I ran out and bought you a new little friend. I hope you like him. Not as cute as Pookie. I thought you might not like that one, so I also got this one. Yeah. Looks too much like normal. Huh? One more. It's the latest thing. The Teddytron 2000, a fully robotic, state-of-the-art digital teddy bear. It's not as cute as Pookie. You can make it say whatever you want just by speaking into this microphone. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. And there are all sorts of other commands on the controller here. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I press walk. Still not as cute as Pookie. Let's see what happens when I press dance. Nope. Maybe.
Maybe this button that says cuddle. Hey, let me go. Let me see. Ouch! What are you doing? Hey, one of these commands has got to be uncuddled. Whoa! Stop! Stop! Go back to cuddle. <laughs> This one says stop. Oh, wow. Pookie never did that to me. Oh, boy. Oh, you're back. Like I didn't have enough bad news. What's that, boy? You found Pookie? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, don't just stand there slobbering. Take me to him. Shh. In here? <gasps> that, that, that pookie napper. That mutt took my best friend. Aww. Okay, one of my best friends. And I'm going to get him back. <laughs> you, that's my pookie you've got there. I demand that you return him. Huh? <laughs> Pookie is mine now! Mine! If that mutt thinks I'm giving up Pookie without a fight, he's got another thing coming. <sighs> this is called fishing for Pookie. Got a bite. Not a reeler in. This is like Pookie's putting on a little weight. There you are, Pookie. Huh. Hello. Okay, all right. I'm trying something else. Maybe the old phony bush trick. <laughs> How much do you get for gardening work? Okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Cat. I know how to get Pookie back. I need to find an old dress. Find my baby. Who has him? Oh, there you are, Pookie. Well, what are you doing with that mangy dog? You should be with that nice Garfield where you belong. You're his mother? <laughs> of course I'm his m mother. Don't you see the family resemblance? I can get away with this because, as you may have noticed, dogs aren't too bright. <gasps> Let me take you back to Garfield, little Pookie. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was your kid, lady. I just wanted a friend. I never had one. I'm supposed to be this real tough dog scaring everyone away. Well, that's the trouble. I scare everyone away. Huh? So long, Pookie. It was nice having a friend for a little while, even if I did have to steal you.
<laughs> you heard it too, huh? Yep, real sad. So I, I, I think we're gonna have to find him a friend. Yeah, it's great having you around. I never had anybody to talk to before. Boy, I used to not have one friend, and now I got three. Well, that worked out well. Can someone be friends with a useless creature that can't even think? Hey, you and I are pals, aren't we? Uh -huh. Come on, Pookie. Let's go home and see if John has lunch ready. And if you don't want yours, I'll eat it. while I'm away. Don't eat all the ribs while I'm away. Huh. Did he really think I'd eat all the ribs while he was away? Ah, what should I do now? I think I'll eat all the ribs while he's away. Mmm, -hmm. I'm good. Oh, it's you. You hungry, Puppo? Yeah. Fine, I'll give you the part I can't eat. That's the best thing about dogs. They're happy with stuff that no one else would want to eat. Oh. A bone. A juicy, delicious bone. Hey, Ori, look at that mockingbird. He's mocking you. Another bone? How could you have finished the first one? No, I'm not giving you another bone. If you want a bone, go dig up one of yours that you've buried out in the garden over the years. The best part of eating ribs? Mm, licking your paws. So you found a big bone. Big deal, don't bother me. So it's the biggest bone you ever saw? Don't, I repeat, bother me. Oh, all right, all right, I'll look at it. Oh, if it only had meat on it. Odie, you know what this is? But not just any big bone. Come on. That's a dinosaur bone. Those are worth a lot of money. This is the website for the town's natural history museum. Watch. Here at the museum, we are especially proud of our dinosaur skeletons. 
is. Recently, we located this one. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Cretaceous period. This skeleton is valued at more than a quarter of a million dollars. A quarter of a million dollars? Hootie, I'm rich. Do you know how much lasagna you can buy for a quarter of a million dollars? Enough to feed me. I'm gonna take that bone down to the museum and find that lady. You go dig up the rest of the skeleton. We found this skeleton in someone's backyard on the west side of town. We had to get a court order to have the people who live there evicted and their home torn down, but we did it all in the name of science. Odie, get back to work. Have that skeleton dug up by the time I get back. Barontosaurus, also known as Apatosaurus, lived 150 million years ago and weighed a minimum of 23 metric tons. 23 metric tons? That's more than I weigh after a good Italian dinner. Okay, I gotta find that lady who'll pay me a fortune for the bones that he's digging up. Oh. Hey, cat, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, and first, you put that bone down. That's museum property. Oh, no, 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 no. I brought this bone with me. It's gonna make me rich. No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I'm trapped. There's no way out of here. Okay, I've got him quartered in the Tyrannosaurus Rex exhibit. He can't possibly get away. <laughs> Congratulations, you're now an exhibit. The first security guard to be swallowed by a Tyrannosaurus. Ah, ah, help! Ah! Myron, a cat stole a bone and is heading down corridor 11 with it. Where's that lady who pays the big bucks for dino bones? Sorry, cat. Our dinosaur bones are not to-go orders. But I brought this one with me. Odie found it in the garden. Hey, I recognize you. You live with that Arbuckle guy on my block. What seems to be the trouble, Myron? No trouble, Mrs. Brewbaker. This cat tried to steal this dinosaur bone. I don't recognize this bone from any of our exhibits. It's... it's from a Brachiosaurus. A Brachiohoosus? This is one of the rarest dinosaurs in the world. We don't have one in our collection. Cat, did you find this where you live? I'll take the money in small bills, uh, mostly hundreds. We must have an immediate excavation to find every possible bone on the property. We'll get a court order to tear down any buildings or dwellings. Tear down? You mean, you just tear down this Arbuckle guy's home? Science is more important than anyone's individual life. Our house? I won't let you. The cat's getting away. Levin, you seem to know where the property is. Let's go. Myron? Myron, can you hear me? Can somebody come and get me out of this? Somebody? Anybody? I have to get rid of those bones or they'll tear down our house. Uh, 
Cody, you dug up an entire dinosaur. Uh -huh. You did as I asked, boy, and that's great. There's just one more thing I want you to do for me. <sighs> Bury them all again. No! No, there's no time. This is awful. I should have given you that second rib bone you asked for instead of sending you out to dig here. <laughs> what do you mean you never got to even enjoy the first one? I gave it to you. <laughs> what? Hercules stole it? That little sawed off chihuahua down the block? <laughs> this could work out just fine. Oh, yes. Hey, what's haps there, Hercules? Did you come to take the bone back? I'm not giving it to you. I stole it fair and squares. Oh, no, you can keep it. Audie doesn't bother with those tiny bones anymore. This is not a tiny bone. It is a good-sized bone. Oh, you think so, huh? Come on. Take a look at the kind of bone Odie's been digging up at our place. Oh! <laughs> You can keep any of those tiny bones you come across. Who needs them? Well, I'll have to take Odie for a walk, so I hope nobody steals his new bones while we're gone. <gasps> can it be? It's true. It's true. The largest, most beautiful bones I've ever seen. <sighs> I don't care how many trips I have to make. These bones will be all mine. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I just got home this minute. What is it you want to do? It's what we are going to do. We're having your home declared a site of vital scientific interest. We're going to tear down the whole house and dig for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? There are no dinosaur bones here. There are. Your cat had one. Want to see where the dinosaur bones are? You want us to follow you, Cat? <laughs> there are your dino bones, lady. My word! Those are Brachiosaurus bones. Forget about Mr. Arbuckle's property. Let's tear this house down and dig. I don't know how you do it, Garfield. I don't know how I do it either. Come on, boy. Let's get home and see if there are any ribs left. You can have the bone, and I'll take all the meat stuff they stick on the outside. 